What's up guys, Holy Pepsi here and I have my Pokemon Ruby version. I believe this battery is dead, don't really know, we'll find out in about 10 seconds. For Ruby version, any of the uh, time events will not occur. It's not a major thing, but it is kind of annoying and you might as well replace it because it's not really that expensive. So, let's do this. Uh, internal battery has run dry, this game can be played though. So, however, clock based events will no longer occur. So, first off, you need your Pokemon Ruby. You're going to need this screwdriver. You're going to need a new battery. Pretty simple. You'll also need a soldering gun. And uh, make sure you be careful. I'm going to be doing this extremely slow pace, but uh, for the soldering at least. Other than that, I'll be trying to go as fast as I can. Because I do not want to screw up. So, let's take the screwdriver. Take this out, lift off the case, make sure you do not touch the soldering iron because it is extremely hot. And what you're going to want to do is to remove the battery, desolder it, I really wish this board was a little bit longer, or uh, not this board, but this cord was a little bit longer, and the board. Makes a lot of things much easier. Alright, that's done for that. Do set it aside. If you hit the case, it's not that big of a deal. not going to kill the game. But you can lift the board outside the case and uh, make sure you don't nick it. Alright, there you go. It's out and it's looking pretty good. So, now what you need is a little bit of solder is probably a little too much but uh actually might be able to do this without doing that since this one looks like they actually got enough solder on it we'll see that yeah, we'll be solder Oh, solder, when you come hot enough, three melts. Okay, is it one side? That looks perfect for you. Okay. Let's put the solder board. Ow. Oh, yeah. You know what, guys? You have to get pretty in there, probably. The CPU. So, sorry, fix it. It's easier if you want to do it, but it might burn. Let me just check. If you hold the board, the other board is hard as I think. It's definitely able to stand quite a bit of heat. Because, obviously, it's not going to want some. It's not going to stand on heat. But it doesn't get hot, and cooling it doesn't matter because if you're a it's much easier. If it doesn't give the message, then it worked. If it does get the message, then we failed, but I know we didn't fail. Because we're too OP for that. And as you can see here, guess what guys? No message. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you out and uh, hopefully you'll be able to do this to your GBA game. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe and uh, peace out. Holy Pepsi out.